guys, it's Grace. Welcome to my channel. Um, today I'm going to do seven restaurants that you definitely want to take your kids to in Disney World. Of course, all of the restaurants in Disney World do cater to children, but some do more than the others. And if this is your first time ever going to Disney World, you definitely want to check out these seven places if you have kids, especially under the age of seven, because let's face it, kids aren't going to want to eat lobster tail down at the coral reef. Even if you do get to see the fish, they're not going to want to eat the fish. They feel bad. I feel bad. <laughs> um, so here's my top seven to go. We're going to do it a countdown. Um, so number seven you want to take your kids to is definitely Tony's Town Square Restaurant. Um, it's located in the Magic Kingdom, right in Town Square. It's right when you walk in. Um, it's probably my favorite Italian restaurant um, because it's a little more themed than if you would go to the Italy Pavilion in Epcot. <laughs> it's a Lady and the Tramp themed. It has Lady and the Tramp on repeat in the lobby for 24-7. So even if you get to your reservation a little bit early, which you do want to make a reservation for this because sometimes it's kind of hard to get into, but most of the time there are open slots, um, you can sit and watch Lady and the Trip. <laughs> My number six must eat at Disney for kids is the Crystal Palace. I prefer this for breakfast, but anytime is good. Um, they do do character dining. It is buffet style, but I feel like their breakfast is delicious. I prefer it over their lunch or their dinner. Um, they have great characters that walk around. Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, all of the Hundred Acre Wood friends, um, and they have the best waffles. They're, I think, out of all of the Disney dining. Um, so that is the number six that is also located in the Magic Kingdom. A lot of these places are going to be in the Magic Kingdom. Um, just a heads up. <laughs> this one you do want to get a reservation for because it's extremely hard to get into because it is a classic restaurant that a lot of people do go to. Um, so make sure that you at least, for this one, you can at least make a reservation a week, maybe two in advance if you're feeling a little dangerous. Um, but for the most part, when you book your Disney vacation, you do want to get your restaurant reservations in ASAP. Even if you're not sure what day you're going to go, start planning. Make a little game plan in your head. Um, you can also get a park hopper. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. <laughs> you can also get a park hopper. That way you can go to breakfast in the Magic Kingdom and still make it over to Epcot in time for fireworks. Um, <laughs> so, yes. Anyway, um, Crystal Palace, definitely my number six pick. Uh, my number... Um, you do want to do Mama's Melrose place. Um, I love this place because it is hilarious. It takes you back into the 1950s, back when Mama used to make the meatloaf and Daddy used to come home and make the bread, um, if you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> so this place actually does focus on manners. A lot of them, if you put your elbows on the table or if you don't eat your dinner, um, the waiters will actually walk around and be like, get your elbows off the table. I'm going to tell Mama Melrose. Um, <laughs> and then if you don't finish your dinner, you can't have dessert there. That's what the waiters told me. I still got mine anyway. Um, but yes, it's very focused on manners, 1950s theme, and it is probably one of my favorite places to get meatloaf in because it's delicious. Um, so if you're looking for like home cooking and kind of like, I don't really want to eat fancy, this is kind of the, if you wanted to eat back at home food. And that is located in, it's not called MGM anymore, sorry. <laughs> That's located in Hollywood Studios. Um, I do highly recommend it, especially for kids, because you know how they get out of hand sometimes and Mama Melrose is gonna put them in their place. Um, so that's my number five pick. Number four, we're going to go to, of course, Sci-Fi Dinner Drive-In. Um, I absolutely am obsessed with them. Uh, they 
<laughs> put you in a little car and you sit at your little car and there's a little screen projecting film clips from classic horror movies like The Swamp Thing or I don't think that they have anything Dracula but think about things that you would do at a drive through for horror movies like Space Invaders um, they have little trailers playing 24 7 and of course no drive through would be complete without milkshakes fries and of course your burgers um, they have different types of milkshakes probably about 15 flavors um, you can also suggest no, I don't want banana in my milkshake, but I'll take it extra peanut butter. Um, <laughs> they do make suggestions, too. And so that's my number four pick. Uh, number three, uh, these are mainly going to... Oh, <laughs> I forgot to mention. Sci-Fi Dinner Dining In. That is also located in Hollywood Studios. You really can't miss it. It's basically a movie-themed... Uh, dinner place. So if your kids are used to watching dinner, wa uh, watching TV while they eat dinner, this will be perfect. Even if you want to just go for lunch or even a snack, they can greatly accommodate you for your snacks. Um, this one you don't really need a reservation for, but I do for all of these. I highly suggest a reservation because you never know what time you're going to be going. So if you are uh, there on one of those busy weekends, weekdays, week whatevers, <laughs> you definitely do want to make reservations. Um, like I said, just make a game plan. Um, my number three is the Hoopty Doo Review. Um, now I haven't been there in a while, but we used to go every time <laughs> that we went down to Disney um, since the age of three, I think. Um, so three to maybe my last time I went to the Hoopty Doo was 14. Um, I, I went there every year, maybe sometimes twice a year. I can't really remember right now. Um, but yes, I highly suggest it. They have awesome bread, awesome butter, awesome. It's very <laughs> country, ki country cooking for the Hoopty Doo review. And of course, it is a dinner show, so it will be a lot of fun. They do pick participants, especially if you do have young ones. They will bring the young ones up on stage. Um, like I said, it's been a few years. I can't remember what they brought me up on stage for, but it was a lot of fun. And they do have, be warned adults, that they do have adults coming up for audience participation. So make sure that you don't look too scary or pretty. You might just be up on that stage. <laughs> um, yes, I'm actually going to do a slash on that one because I do want to mention that there is <sighs> there is another um, dinner show and it is Ohana. Now I haven't, or not Ohana, um, Oahu, Spirit of Hawaii. I haven't been to this new one yet. Um, they did just redo it, and they did just redo the place where they do it. Um, it is in Polynesian, so I really can't give that many tips about it. But I did go to the old one, and all I remember is these fire twirlers, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, but I can't give a review on something that I haven't done, but I know that anything... Disney and show related, the kids are going to love. Um, now most of these are prepaid experiences, especially for the dinner shows, and I will tell you which ones are and aren't prepaid. Um, I know that Hoopty Doo is prepaid, I know that Oha o Oahu is prepaid, and I believe that's the only things. I'm pretty positive. I Don't mark my words on those ones. Um, but yes, they both are dinner shows. The Oahu, Spirit of Hawaii, that is um, a Polynesian dinner theater. Yes, so you can watch that right in the Polynesian, even if you are staying on Disney property. There you go. You can have your own little dinner and a show. Um, okay, so back to my list. Sorry. <laughs> my number two. My number two must-do Disney for kids is Chef Mickey. Um, that is located right in the Contemporary Resort. 
It's a buffet style, once again. But this time, the buffet style, you get to dine with, in fact, Mickey. Of course, that's what everybody wants to do, is to eat with Mickey and meet Mickey. Um, even if you're not a big fan and you're an adult, um, you're going to want to eat with Mickey. <laughs> um, but they have delicious, delicious food there. Uh, I like their dinner. Um, I do like their breakfast, but I prefer their dinner because they do have a dessert pizza. And we all know that kids love pizza and kids love dessert. So <laughs> the two combines are probably the best. Um, and that's probably my favorite thing there. It is a graham cracker crust with chocolate and marshmallows on top, so it's like a s'more pizza. Um, I know that I enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure every ch child would en <laughs> enjoy it. Um, but yes, definitely Chef Mickey's. That is not a prepaid, but it is contemporary and it's very hard to get into. So if you are looking for something that's near Walt Disney World, you are going to want to try to get into Chef Mickey because that is a mon monorail ride just away from the Magic Kingdom. And if you do want to walk, it is a pretty short walk to get to the Magic Kingdom. Um, that is, once again, located in the Contemporary. I actually stayed there once. Highly recommend it. I loved it. <laughs> um, so my number one. I couldn't pick my number one <laughs> because... I just, I love them both so much. Um, so I'm going to split it into one that's more easy to get into, the other that if you're not, it, you're probably not going to get into unless you book it six months in advance. So my number one part one <laughs> is Be Our Guest from The Magic Kingdom. It is indeed a sleeping, uh, not a sleeping beauty, um, <laughs> A Beauty and the Beast theme restaurant. Yes, Beauty and the Beast. Woohoo! They have um, every, I believe, 30 minutes, Beast walks around to welcome his guests. There are three different rooms. There is the Rose Room, the West Wing, that's where the Rose Room is, sorry, um, the Music Box Room, and then the main date dining hall. I did not stay, um, I did not, sorry, I did not eat in the West Wing, um, but I have eaten in both the music bathroom and the dining area. Now, that one is pretty hard to get into, but if you do book a month or two in advance, you will definitely get in. Um, but do not expect to get there the day of unless there are cancellations. That one I know for sure that you have to be lucky to get in. Um, my first time I was very lucky. It was probably a half hour before the reservation. I said, I'm really hungry. Let's just go see if we can get in. We got in, and it was delicious. Um, <laughs> I'm a big fan of desserts, as you can tell. Um, so I highly suggest to try the gray stuff. It is delicious. Um, and they have a double chocolate cupcake. It's awesome. Um, they even have a little Be Our Guest square on it. I think I have it on my Instagram. Still, maybe. I don't know. It's been a while. <laughs> but it's it's delicious. If you are a hot chocoholic like I am, you're going to love both of those. Um, I also really like their duck. Was it duck? No, it wasn't duck. It was chicken. It was a herb-crusted chicken with, I believe, truffle sauce. It was delicious. I love it so much. So good. Um... So <laughs> that's my part one of my number one spot. You definitely do want to get in there because you can get pictures with Beast. Um, there is a line sometimes, but if you, you do love Beauty and the Beast and you definitely want to see Beast because you already got your beauty um, pictures with Belle, <laughs> you want to get your pictures with Beast at Be Our Guest. And I think that is one of the only places you can get your pictures with Beast, if not the only. I'm not 100% positive. So don't mark me on those words. But that's the only experience that I got to. Um, okay, so here's my number one, part two. Drum roll, please. My dogs are going to help me welcome in. <laughs> I wasn't calling you guys. Um, my number one place is Cinderella's Castle. Once again, that is in the Magic Kingdom. Um, <laughs> it's the... 
well, it keeps getting refurbished. Hi, Sammy. This is Sammy, guys. That's Isabella. All right, get down. Get down. No, no. Um, <laughs> so that is my number one place, Cinderella's Castle. You get to dine with all of the princesses. They do walk around. You do get to get your pictures with them. Um, the only problem with this place, as amazing as it is, um, men, if you ever get a chance and you have a fine lady or gentleman, um, you should propose there. They have a proposal package, and your lady slash gentleman will never forget how you propose to them. Um, but yes, this is one of the only places that all of the princesses will be in the same room at the same time, and you will get your picture with them. This is a prepaid experience. It is a little more expensive than what most of the other Disney places are, um, especially for Be Our Guest. Be Our Guest is um, probably... Twenty to thirty dollars cheaper than if you went to Cinderella's Castle, but it is well worth it. If you wanted to dine with the princess and treat your little princess or prince like the king and queen that they are, this is definitely where to take your son, daughter, significant other. This is just an all-around great experience to at least have once. If you're only in Disney once and you never get to do it again, this is a must-do. Um, so thank you for staying with me. Thank you for bearing with me. Thank you for welcoming my dogs to my channel. <laughs> um, I'm Grace, and I'll see you around. Bye!